Good morning, everyone. We are Dogs of the Wind, and this morning we're up before the sunrise to take you to Murrayvale Bird Sanctuary. Murrayvale Bird Sanctuary is located near Nigel in Gauteng, about 60 kilometers drive east from the heart of Johannesburg. It is part of the Blessbox Sprate Wetland, which is a Ramsar site frequented by roughly 300 species of birds. The reserve is about 15 square kilometers in size and it is a sanctuary for water birds who use the area to feed and breed, particularly in the summer months when the migratory birds take up residence. Welcome to Murray Vale. Here we are surrounded by so many birds we don't even know where to look first. As soon as we arrived, we were greeted by the long-tailed widow birds. The males can be seen flying slowly over the grass using a rowing motion, displaying their trailing tail feathers. These impressive tails are an interesting study in evolutionary pressure. The longer his tail, the more likely he is to find a mate. But this advantage in the mating game is a hindrance when it comes to evading predators. So, one can be too handsome for one's own good. Alongside the widow birds, we saw hundreds of red-billed quilias. These seed-eating weaver birds are sometimes known as Africa's feathered locust as they move in a massive rolling cloud through fields of grain. It will cost you a conservation fee of 35 rand per person and 25 rand per vehicle to visit this birding paradise. The gates open at 6 a.m. and I recommend arriving as early as possible to enjoy the morning golden hour light. There are seven birding hides scattered across the reserve, three of which have toilet facilities, and one has a spacious picnic site. Make sure you pack your own food, as there's no tuck shop or restaurant on site. There are plenty of garden variety birds found at Murrayvale, but the best sightings are of course the water birds, like this black crake. Some birds are extremely difficult to identify, like these, which we think are ruffs, so please leave a comment if we've misidentified any birds. We are amateurs, always eager to learn more. different colored balls. These interesting looking birds migrate all the way to Europe, Central Asia and the Russian Far East to breed. Like many of the water birds found at Murrayvale, 
Pied avocets are protected under the Agreement on the Conservation of African Eurasian Migratory Water Birds. The glossy ibis is another species protected under this international treaty. Wetlands are among the most biodiverse biomes in the world. The conservation of these areas is important not only for the many species that wetlands support, but also for our own benefit, as water is one of our most precious resources. Wetlands function as a carbon sink, therefore playing an important role in mitigating climate change. They are also natural water filters which remove pollutants from our water system. They are vital in protecting human settlements from floods as well as droughts because they act like giant sponges that slow down floodwaters by holding water and they store this water for long periods of time thereby replenishing the groundwater. In addition, the natural beauty of these green spaces is a balm for any city-weary human soul. We explored the reserve thoroughly, visiting each hide. Of course we came for the birds, but we were pleasantly surprised to find a yellow mongoose. I absolutely loved watching these feisty mongooses back in the Kalahari, so seeing this little guy was a treat. The most interesting sighting of the day was a squacko heron. We just managed to snap a photo as it flew off across the wetland. It is so exciting and rewarding to see a new bird for the first time and tick it off the list. Another rather beautiful, brightly coloured water bird is the African Swamp Hen, with its bright red face and legs, and shimmering blue, green and purple feathers. the southern masked weaver, these sandpipers, and this speckled pigeon brought our bird count up to 38 species. But we can add a few more to the list. We also saw a Birchall's kukul and a Cape Longclaw, but weren't quick enough to catch them on camera. And we saw the usual Cape Turtle Dove, Red Eyed Dove, and Laughing Dove which are so ubiquitous we didn't even think to photograph them. Murrayvale is a wonderful place for a day visit, especially if you love birds as much as I do. Being surrounded by the sights and sounds of nature like this really helps to scratch the safari itch. I can't wait to return a little later in the season to see what new species will have arrived. Thank you for watching Dogs of the Wind. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to join us on our next adventure.